Hi, I'd like to uh, show you the Victoria Institute Connected Bicycle Helmet. Uh, it looks like any other bicycle helmet, but we've added communication using the new Bluetooth 4.0 standard, Bluetooth Low Energy, uh, as well as a pulse sensor to measure your heart rate and accelerometers. Using uh, these uh, sensors and the communication, we can provide new functions that make it more attractive for riders to wear and use a bicycle helmet. So let me show you how this helmet works. Uh, I begin by just picking up the helmet and this will activate the, uh, the sensors and the radio because the accelerometers detect movement. Uh, and when the helmet is activated, you see the LED in front here, that's the pulse sensor. Uh, it uses pulse oximetry uh, to read your heart rate. And what that basically does is that it measures the amount of reflected light and that changes depending on uh, your pulse. So if you see, if I put my finger here, uh, the HMI on the screen here, uh, shows my pulse. Uh, right now I'm showing it on, uh, on my laptop, but it could be connected to any Bluetooth 4.0 compatible device, like the iPhone 4S, for example, or the Motorola Racer right now. And more and more devices are becoming Bluetooth 4.0 compatible. One example of what's possible by adding sensors to a helmet like this is to provide triggers to the user to perform a, perform a certain behavior at a certain time. For example, if you're about to take a bike ride, but your cell phone detects that there's no helmet in range, it's possible to give reminders to the user to wear his or her helmet. And these types of triggers rely on a good understanding of the context, which we can achieve through these uh, sensors in the helmet. Another example is to provide a service similar to eCall. Uh, if you're riding on a, a trail, let's say, you're alone and you have an accident, you fall, and an impact is detected by the accelerometer, uh, it's possible to check in the cell phone if the user is wearing the helmet or not because we have the pulse sensor uh, and if the user doesn't respond within a timeout uh, the cell phone can contact for example the emergency number in the in the cell phone uh, and even provide the location of where this uh, accident happened because of the gps in the cell phone we can also integrate the helmet better with for example the bike itself one example is to use the heart rate sensor uh, to provide feedback uh, for the assistance of an ele electric bike. So you could set a, a maximum heart rate if you don't want to arrive at work sweaty. You can set a minimum heart rate if you want that extra exercise. Uh, or you could even set, uh, for example, an, uh, uh, an interval training program if you want to do intervals. So that's it. This is the Victoria Institute Connected Bicycle Helmet. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and we look forward to your comments below.